This is Miami All Access. We're here with Coach Wright for our weekly press conference. Well, Coach, it's finals week. It's obviously an important week for the team, but it does create some unusual practice circumstances. How do you go through the week while continuing to make sure the players have adequate time to study and prepare? Well, first thing we did was um, we're off today. We were off yesterday um, just because most of the finals happen early in the week, most likely, and it gives them a chance to prepare a little bit. So, um, and then we just looked at their practice schedules and we tried to, you know, try to plug the time in uh, so that uh, – uh, that nobody's missing anything or feeling too off, you know, too stressed. We have a lot of uh, players whose first time to be in a finals week in the finals week, and so we want them to do well. And so we find that block of time, and and um, and we use that time to the best of our ability. All right. Well, with a little time off before the next game, what is the main focus of practice this week when you do get on the floor? Well, I mean. Uh, one of the things that we'll do is we'll be able to put in some new things uh, with a little bit of time that we have because so we don't play for a week, uh, a week from today, and against UT Martin. And so we'll be able to put some some new things in, but we'll also get a chance to uh, uh, to secure some things and to really get some reps on some uh, some things in our offense uh, to clarify our defense. Um, certainly, there's things that we saw in Evansville that we want to get better at. Uh, we'll get a chance to watch film with them. And as the week goes on, the finals get less and less, so we can get more and more uh, involved. Right. Well, looking back at that last game against Evansville, mm -hmm. a defense was strong the entire time, but offensively the team was a bit inconsistent. Uh, obviously, there will be some growing pains as the team gets used to playing away from Millette, but how can the Red Hawks perform better on the offensive side of the ball when playing on the road? Well, I, let me start with the defensive side of the ball first. I, I do think it was a consistent effort, even after watching the film. You know, a lot of times you watch film and things are get revealed in film, in film that you don't necessarily remember during the game. And I do think it was a solid effort defensively. I still think there's things we could do better. You know, I'm, I'm probably a typical coach. I'm not completely satisfied with it. And I think we could e do even better uh, defensively. We could have been more consistent in how we handled uh, on-ball screens. I felt like um, that we, um, we did some things that we didn't necessarily want to do against uh, on-ball screens. Um, offensively, I mean, 24 turnovers. I mean, you're not going to go on the road and uh, uh, and have 24 turnovers and get a chance to win. I think our defense allowed us to stay in the game and to stay close in the game, but we have to be able to take care of the ball. And and uh, the interesting thing is, as we show our the turnovers to our team, it's things that we can control. It's things that we can control, and, and we need to control, and we need to show more discipline on that side of the ball. And, and we will. I have no doubt that we will. Uh, we're very capable of doing that. And so uh, certainly that's going to be one of the main things. I, I think um, uh, our spacing on offense is going to get better. And uh, as we put um, – as we learn how to handle uh, specific situations, I think we'll see those turnovers go uh, down. Um, and then I think as people settle into the roles on the offensive side of the ball, um, that will also help in the turnover area. So um, we'll see. We'll see. All right. Well, Miami returns to an action a week from today, December 15th, against UT Martin. Mm -hmm. Admission's only $1 because it's a dollar day as opponent. It's another new opponent that the Red Hawks have never faced. So what can we expect from the Skyhawks? Uh, UT Martin is a good team. They've had a, traditionally a very strong team. Uh, they're a little bit younger this year. Uh, they did lose some key people last year, but they've had some people step up this year. They're, uh, they run a, a motion offense that um, uh, they, that they run very well. Um, it's, a, it's a strong team, and so and they shoot the ball very well. And so we'll, we'll have to make sure that we, we challenge shots from the outside. Um, I don't know what their percentages are at home compared to away, but I know they can shoot the ball. And so we'll make sure that we're uh, doing everything we can to challenge, the, uh, challenge jump shots and, and make sure that we rebound shots. You guys have been getting a great effort from McHugh on the boards. Mm -hmm. um, how much does it help you guys when you get a player that's a little more of a veteran to help all these young players? Like, is that kind of contagious? Does that mm -hmm. effort spread? I mean, that. She's just, I mean, getting rebounds. Mm -hmm. easily. You know what? It, and Q uh, is an energy type person. Uh, I want that energy to be even more consistent. It'd be amazing if it got even more consistent. But her desire to get rebounds on the defensive end, it's been proven. I mean, she's done it multiple times, and, and it's been very helpful for us. That's one of the things that helped us against the Evansville game was, you know, she really wasn't uh, being able to get much done on the offensive end, but she was definitely going to the board defensively. I'd love for her to give that effort on the offensive end um, and uh, two, and get some more offensive rebounds to give us more possessions. But I certainly like her effort on the defensive 
defensive side of the ball. Her voice is getting stronger. Um, veterans help, absolutely. You know, returner, returning players help. And it's important that those returning players are connectors and that um, they are directors and connectors and team players. And, and I believe, you know, all of the returning players that we have are all of that. Awesome. Thanks, Coach.